everyone. Uh, Gary Gilmore with the uh, Simplified Pacifier made a few changes in it uh, over the past a few months and just wanted to give an update. Basically, this is a charcoal gas fire that is used uh, to uh, make charcoal gas, carbon monoxide, to run a generator. And we'll do that here re real quickly. But basically, uh, it, it's made up of a 16 gallon steel drum. Uh, you have an air inlet located down here, which uh, goes to a steel, in this case a stainless steel nozzle, which is screwed on the inside of the gasifier. This is just a one inch pipe screwed into the air inlet on the inside of the gasifier. This is where the gas then exits the charcoal gasifier goes through a cyclone and then goes through a filter and then finally to the engine where it will then power the, the generator in this case. So let me show you real quick here with the camera. I'll show you what it looks like inside. You see here the air inlet. The air comes in right here sucked into the uh, gasifier. This pipe is the exhaust return for some of the, the engine exhaust to help cool down the reaction. And this is a valve to help control that. This little uh, pipe here with the valve is for a fluid drip to allow you to add some fluid to the uh, hot uh, gases to help increase the hydrogen content. And then looking inside, you can see the nozzle in there. And right here is the gas outlet that goes into the cyclone, which then cleans out the dust. Okay, I'm going to step outside and fill this up with charcoal. Okay, I now have this filled with charcoal. I want you to notice uh, the charcoal is fairly fine, three-quarter inches and and diameter is about the largest piece down to about eighth inch. You don't want any fine dust in there and it's important that it is well burned. In other words, there's no tars in here. Now I then put in, this is where the gases come and go into the cyclone. But on top of this, I put on a cooling disc. Uh, this just sits on top of the uh, gas outlet and what it does it, it forces the hot gases to rise up and come over top and impinge on top of the lid uh, thereby helping to cool them just a little bit and allow some of the dust to settle out on this disc okay the lids in place uh, it just swings over uh, there's a there's a gasket in here uh, it's it's hook there and by just pushing down on this lever lever comes up like that and it's there's a spring underneath here it's a spring loaded lid so that should you get any fire back into your generator gas generator uh, this lid will lift and it will allow the excess pressure out it's important that this lid is absolutely airtight. Okay, I'll put on the, uh, the pipes here and then show you what they mean in a little bit. Well, now I have the pipes hooked up. Uh, the gases come out of here into the cyclone, and I have an inch and a half pipe fitting here. And the gases then go through this. Uh, actually, most of the heavy dust is discharged into the cyclone. And it can be easily cleaned out by just removing the base and dropping out the um, the interior which would have the dust in it. Okay, then the hot gases then travel into the final filter which is nothing more than a five gallon bucket with a screw on lid and I'll take a quick look in here. Um, Basically, it, it's uh, filled with, partially filled with uh, wood shavings, 
and this uh, contains foam rubber which is used as your final filter well actually not the final filter it's pre final filter there's another piece of foam right here and then on top of that foam is a piece of wool heavy wool blanket uh, the Australians found that wool was very effective in removing dust from uh, charcoal gas and then further in here I have some uh, just be some stainless steel uh, wool all that does is just help keep the uh, the wool from being sucked up tight against the the uh, outlet for the filter back up here a little bit so just put that in there put the foam and the filter together and just push that into place and then finally the last filter now, typically these are just cleaned out once every so often uh, and just beat the dust out of them these are slightly damp because the charcoal I was using has been around for a year so it's uh, absorbed a little bit of dampness uh, but that's still fine okay this just goes inside here and I screw the lid back in place it's important to have airtight seals piece of sump pump hose piece of plastic pipe the sump pump hose now goes over to the starter fan which in this case is a 12 volt inline blower hooked to a battery turn on the switch and it starts blowing air a valve here allows it to direct the gas into the flare tube and then from once the gas is rich enough to flare it's rich enough to start the generator running and that's where this hose will then be attached to the get it in picture here to the gas mixture valve on the engine and basically that is just a piece of one inch pipe where the a gas from your gas generator hooks on and then we have this adjustable valve to allow the oxygen from the atmosphere to mix with the charcoal gas in the correct amount to cause the engine to explode to make it an explosive mixture run the engine okay so let's get this started uh, oh I'm also going to show this is a little hand crank blower I have should uh, you have a lack of electricity you know from a battery you can start this using a hand crank blower and I'll try to get the camera set up here and we'll try to get started it takes about two minutes using this unit or the electric blower so let me get set up here and I'll be right back The easy, easiest way to light this uh, gas fire is simply to get the blower running and then use a, uh, a, a torch to light, you know, hold it there and it, the flames will carry forth and, and light the charcoal. But I'm going to show you, uh, these, are, these are pieces of quick match. Basically it's cotton string uh, dipped in uh, wet black powder and then dried. And these are very effective for lighting. Uh, this gas fire. Now what I'll do is, is light this and then start cranking the blower. Now I'm looking at a mirror right here which is looking into the intake, and the air intake, into the charcoal gasifier. So I can actually see the glow inside the charcoal generator as I'm cranking and pulling air in that air inlet. Uh, the charcoal is lit, lit, 
And now what I have to do is keep cranking this for about two, two and a half minutes until all of the gas, the air inside the charcoal generator, inside the filter, inside the cyclone, all of that air has been purged and replaced with carbon monoxide. That's why it takes a little while. Of course, the easy way is to use the 12 volt startup thing. Let me show you here. Okay, you see the, uh, the color of the uh, fire inside the nozzle. And then you can also see some vapor coming out of the fan, this hand crank fan. I could speed things up by cranking it. Uh, what you see there is some water vapor. This typically happens every time you start up a charcoal gasifier. And since it's kind of cool today, uh, that's another reason. Now, this has carbon monoxide in it, and it's deadly. You don't want to breathe too much of this stuff. I'm in a rather large open room here, but beware that this stuff has killed many people over the years. two minutes. Let's see if the gas is rich enough to flare. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm just going to let it go a little bit longer, once again, to evacuate all the stray air in here to make sure my system is filled with good charcoal gas. You see the nice blue flame? Uh, very indicative of carbon monoxide burning. Now, this unit also has a fluid drip, so I could drip in motor oil, glycerin, water, radiator fluid. Uh, by dripping that into the hot uh, combustion zone, I wouldn't be adding more hydrogen to this flame, which would actually add more power to the gas you're producing. But I'm just going to run on straight charcoal for now. So let me shut that off. I have to adjust the camera here. This thing doesn't have a very wide field of vision. And my back will be to you. But what I'm doing is adjusting this valve right here to get the correct oxygen charcoal gas mixture. So let's see how it starts. Takes a little while to bring the gas in, and then you have to adjust this. Everything has to come up to heat. Uh, it'll take about five minutes to everything's up and running well. But once it's running well, you pretty much leave it set, and you're good to go. This is a 7,000 watt generator on gasoline, on charcoal gas, it's going to do well to get 4,000 watts. Charcoal gas doesn't have the power that gasoline has, so it does derate your energy uh, production. 